There's a common saying in the self-defense community, if you're not cheating, your tactics suck. While we don't encourage foul play on the competition field, when it comes to self-defense, you want to use every possible advantage. And you'll need to use those advantages should you ever have to fire your gun with your weak hand, meaning your non-shooting hand. Maybe you've been injured. Perhaps your strong hand is protecting a child or keeping them out of the way. Or you might be fighting off an attacker with your strong hand. Whatever the reason, it's a good idea to learn to shoot with your non-dominant hand. For most of us, it's awkward to shoot with the weak hand. So let's take a look at a couple of cheat techniques that'll help you get hits with that offside hand. First and foremost, you need to get a good trigger press with your support hand. Most of us aren't nearly as coordinated with our non-dominant hand, so when we pull the trigger, we tend to move the gun and miss the target. The solution? Practice. The best way to do this is with dry fire practice using a double verified unloaded gun. Being careful to have no ammo anywhere nearby, aim at a safe backstop and practice pressing the trigger without moving the gun. Repeating the dry fire process without all the blast and recoil programs your brain to make a perfect trigger press and an accurate shot. The other skill to develop is managing recoil with your weaker hand. By rotating your firing arm inward, you can create more natural resistance to muzzle flip and recoil. A little rotation goes a long way. All you need is 30 degrees or so. If you're shooting left-handed, rotate the gun inward to about a one o'clock position. If you're shooting right-handed, make that 11 o'clock. At these shallow angles, your sights will still be right on target. Just make sure not to over-adjust, otherwise you'll lose control and accuracy. With dry fire practice and the right amount of arm rotation, you'll make that shot. 